This is the Bahamas Tonight Northern Edition. This is the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. Good evening, I'm Sabrina Brown. Thank you for joining us. Topping the news tonight, more assistance being offered to the small business communities on Grand Bahama and Abaco following Hurricane Dorian. The monster storm battered many businesses on those islands, some being forced to close their doors, while others are in a rebuilding phase. Tonight, as many grapple to navigate the process, Shashina Roll Farkasen shares how help is being offered through a number of partnerships. There is some light at the end of the tunnel for businesses on the island of Abaco and Grand Bahama who have been impacted by Hurricane Dorian. The hope is that the $2 million allocated to the Venture Fund will assist these businesses in spurring economic growth and activity. Chairman of the Bahamas Entrepreneur Venture Fund, Michael Cunningham, says this initiative is in partnership with the Small Business Development Center. The, fund, the $2 million will be funded to qualified companies in the form of equity coming directly from the venture fund. The minimum funding will be $50,000 and the maximum funding is up to $100,000 with a redemption window of up to five years. We are not um, song and cast on the uh, five years. It can be in excess of five years or it can be less than five years. So um, the fund at directors will be offering financial advice to funded companies that will help to steer them in the right direction. He says the local chamber and small business development center will assist. But here's what you need to know if you are interested. Requirements are summary of your business operation, bad information, bank statements, proper identification of the individuals or shareholders, financial statements. And if those inf that information is not available, you can easily get the information from the, the bad office or from the, um, your, your banks or the business license or the inland revenue. Uh, application forms and checklists will certainly guide you in obtaining the relevant documents or information. If the data has been destroyed in the hurricane, some of the information can be obtained from your banker or government one-stop desk. You can contact the, the local chamber. The good news, he adds, is that there will be an expedited process for businesses that qualify. Aim is to have all qual qualified applicants in a position to receive funding within four to five days after we will receive all of the relevant information. We encourage all business owners that require funding to take advantage of this opportunity. There might be companies requiring bridge funding while waiting for the settlement of insurance claim. The board has established a committee that will meet twice per week to process applications Therefore, we ask all applicants to obtain all relevant information before submitting your application to avoid unnecessary delays. On a monthly basis, two members of the committee will visit Grand Bahama depending on the number of applications received to review the progress of companies that have been funded. Now, if you have more questions regarding the Venture Fund, you are being encouraged to contact your local Chamber of Commerce, the SBDC, or the Venture Fund. Shishina Wolf Arkison, ZNS Network News. A local service organization joining forces with a vital agency to recognize the contributions of a group of precious pearls in the Southern District. The seniors were treated to a luncheon today and presented with some much needed supplies. Jimmy Lamisic reports. The Pilot Club of Lukaya collaborating with Urban Renewal hosting a group of seniors in the Lewis Yard community to a Thanksgiving luncheon and presentation. President of the Pilot Club of Lukaya, Tony Hudson Bannister says, a part of their mandate is to recognize caregivers within the community. We also focus on brain health and brain safety. And so today, we would have reached out to the senior citizens in this part of Grand Bahama to show them that we care and to also at the same time recognize the hard work that Urban Renewal is doing as caregivers in this community. And so we would have presented them with some care packages and some blankets and a few walkers and some portable toilets for them. It's Thanksgiving season and so it was a good way, a uh, good time I should say, 
to recognize those in our communities who are doing something and making a positive change. Member of Parliament for Central Grants Bahama, the Honorable Aram Lewis says, he's grateful to the senior citizens for their contributions to community building. As bad as the Bahamas is today, or some people consider it, we are only as good as we are now because of the toil on your behalf, the rules that you set, the families that you would have built. So once again for that, we are eternally grateful and we hope to build on the foundation that you would have laid. Meantime, Deputy Director of Urban Renewal, Senator Jasmine Turner Darius, acknowledging Urban Renewal's appreciation to the Pilot Club of Lukaya for always assisting and collaborating with them to assist those in need. We're excited because in this recovery effort in Grand Bahama, it will take a community, uh, one organization, uh, one department, uh, people coming together to ensure that all of those, the least among us, are impacted and touched so that we all can recover uh, one time. And, and so we really would like to commend them uh, for their stellar contribution to the seniors. And um, we're excited today, even the seniors are excited. Uh, they're really grateful uh, to be remembered during this time. So on behalf of the Minister of Social S Services and Urban Development, the Honorable Frankie Campbell, and the hardworking staff here at Urban Renewal, and in particular today, Louis Yard, we are thankful and we would just like to commend them for the hard work they're doing. Now the Precious Pearls say they are thankful to the Pilot Club of Lukaya for their generosity. Jamila Mizik, ZNS Network News. Thank you, Jamila.